Hi, your communist John Trotsky here, and today I'm going to talk about why Deadpool is ro my role model. Now, from the 1930s until today, we've had the stereotypical superhero more often than not. There are a few exceptions, but those who stood out, I think, were the classic goody two shoes, stereotypical superhero trope kind of heroes. Captain America, Superman, Spider-Man, maybe? And recently, there's been a flux of new superheroes who did things in more of an anti-hero type of way. You know, doing things for themselves, being their own people, having their own agendas, not caring about what other people want and doing what they themselves want. With a few exceptions here and there, of course. I think the pinnacle of that superhero series is Deadpool. So why is he my role model? Throughout the years, Superman, Captain America, those superheroes prevailed in their stories. They, I think they taught people how to be the good guy. You know, doing things that are honorable, doing things for the people, doing things in spite of you, doing things in spite of what you want because other people want it, making them feel better in spite of yourself. And because they're good people, they always get the happy ending. Once again, a few exceptions here and there, but you always expect the good guy to win. Even if the good guy dies, he'll come back. You know, Superman has done that, I think, loads. Captain America, I think, has done that a few times as well. And that's great. That's great. That's great that you're trying to teach people to be good guys, to be good people, to give themselves onto others, to be charitable. But there's one problem with that. It's fiction. It's fake. It's a story written by someone who wanted to write a story. And of course in fiction the good guys are always gonna win. Once again a few exceptions but you can't argue that overall that's exactly what happened. And that's a problem. Because that's not how it works in real life. In real life, you don't get your happy ending because you're a good person, or because you're charitable, or because you're nice to people, or because you're happy. In some cases, you're at a loss. And unlike a superhero who can be at a loss and still have something to gain, you know, they still have superpowers. When people lose something, it, it's usually something they don't want to lose. It's, it, it's happened. It's exactly what happened. These superheroes who are teaching us to be the good person, to help everyone in need, has taught us to be absolutely selfless. But that's not a compliment. Being selfless is not a good thing. Because being selfless means that you don't care about yourself, you only care about other people. You only care about doing the best for them. And that's a problem. We're normal people. We're not superheroes protecting civilians, we're people trying to help other people. And as honorable as that is, without a doubt, it's not good for the individual. You can be the nicest guy in the world, and people will still turn their back on you. And people will still betray you. And people will still treat you as if you don't deserve to be treated with respect back. And that's why I like Deadpool. Deadpool isn't a stereotype. To live for yourself, to be your own person, to do your own thing. It's great because at the end of the day, you're just as important as everyone else. And it's important to take care of yourself first. Because no one is going to care about you more than you do. Because he's flawed. He's not perfect. He swears. He makes mistakes. He's sarcastic. He's annoying to other people. He's relatable. And the fact that he's relatable means that him living for himself makes more sense. He knows people aren't necessarily going to help you just because you're a good guy. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Being a nice person, giving everything you have to someone else, only to lose something? Only to not get the happy ending? You know, you're nice to someone and you expect them to be nice to you back, but instead they just shove you to the ground again. It happens. Because you're giving her everything and you're giving that other person the power to ruin you. 
But Deadpool doesn't allow that. Deadpool lives for Deadpool. I mean, yes, be charitable. Yes, be good to other people. But don't do it at the expense of yourself. Don't do it if you're going to be unhappy about it. Because it means less damage in whatever form. Psychological, physical, emotional, to yourself. And that's why Deadpool is the perfect role model. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you like that. Leave a subscription down below if you want to see more vlogs and more comedy sketches and hopefully my first gaming video coming out soon. And until next time, lol, bye! I lose, yeah.